you. I don't know why I do this. It just feels good. I don't know what it means. Um, definitely not a gangbanger or have any violent tendencies. She's lying. I just like the way it looks. So, two way cute hair. Um, top five. <laughs> Silent assassin. We're gonna be your uh be your financial advisor today. Yay! I'm gonna talk a little bit about credit and the importance of it. People are coming along now. People are actually understanding that you need credit to get a house, to get a car, or good credit to get all of those things, a loan, um, to even get more credit, like uh, I think I'm going to share my experience with you guys um, because I received my first <gasps> derogatory mark. And I just can't believe it. Like, I was climbing my way to 800. Ah, that's crazy. A couple weeks ago, I was at a 720. I'm down to a 700. Lustful ways, mismanagement of money, and things like that. That's another story. So I'm down to a 700. The, the derogatory mark is there. I don't know how many points is gonna boost my score, but I'm so afraid. Like, <sighs> I've been working on my credit for a while. And quite honestly, a lot of us are either forced into working on our credit, um, for those who are out there who either moms put <laughs> the cable bill in their name, a phone bill in their name, even a student loan. That's, that's your, your, you're establishing your credit as soon as you graduate. So according to my credit report, I've been establishing credit, credit, um, for eight years. And I, I, to be at a 720, I think I was pretty good. Because, you know, that's not normal for, um, you know, our type. So, I'm at a 700, like I said. And this derogatory mark is there from my damn Sprint bill. Anyone out there with my 917 number, this is why you cannot reach me. Because that number has been out of service since April, I think. Me being helpful and generous, I allowed a few people on my phone or my account, and I guess, I don't know, people are experiencing financial hardships and couldn't pay. So they gave us, I feel like they gave us enough time to, you know, get out, get out a little money, excuse me, get out a little monies together. Um, and I guess they just like, I've, I've had it. Send that shit to um, collections. They sent that bitch to GC services. So if any of you, if anybody, Encounters GC services, they are real. Like, they will come for you. So, pay up that coin. Um, so, yeah. GC services, they called me in August, right? And it was like, oh, yeah. Like, they ain't say, oh, yeah. But they was like, oh, this is an attempt to collect the debt. This is how much. Ba, ba, ba. So I'm like, damn, like I was crying, like, wow, like I really let my shit go to collections. So I'm like, I, it's I. They didn't report it yet. Like, it's all a game. The lady's trying to scare me, like, well, if you put if you put this much down, we won't report it. I'm like, miss, I already know this is a game. Cause essentially that's what it is. Like you're gonna go through spots in your life where you might miss a payment. Even though I don't suggest that you do, I've never missed a payment on any of my credit cards. I've never missed a payment. Me, I was out of the country, so I didn't really want to deal with all of that and deal with the basketball thing and deal with, you know, um, relationship and deal with, like, there's a lot going on, so I, I honestly slipped up. But I didn't really, because the person I designated to make this payment I guess they forgot. And when shit is not in people's names, then people get very forgetful. So it's a lesson learned for me. Um, I would advise do not, if you open an, uh, an account, if you open in any type of credit line, do not 
make anyone an authorized user or just don't have nobody affiliated with your account, especially if they don't have spending habits like you, if they're not as in tune with their credit as you are, um, because it's just a bad idea. Like, even though they don't, they don't mean harm, it's just, that's just what's gonna happen. So, I'm so scared, like, I'm just praying. I, I try to call them and tell them like, yo, like I've never missed a payment. <laughs> Can y'all just take this off and let me let me pay? Even though it's not, I don't I don't owe anything. It's the people who are on my line that owe money. But because it's in my name, they're looking at it like me. They're looking at me like, bitch, is your name on on account? I don't care about who you said was supposed to pay this. You missed a payment. It's under your name, so now it's on your credit report. So that's unfortunate. Um, this is part one. Um, I'm gonna come back with a part two and tell you guys. Um, Thank you. Yeah. It's gonna be alright though. How many points this this shit affected? Okay. How many points it lowered my score? Like I said, right now I'm at a 700, according to um, what's that? Credit wise. According to Credit Wise, which is um, connected to everybody who has, who has Capital One, they give you, I think it's weekly or bi-weekly updates on your, your credit um, credit score. So, if you want your FICO or the FICO, you want your FICO score. I think Experian lets you extract that document from there. FICO is the three credit unions all averaged together to give you your your actual credit score. So. <sighs> Y'all send y'all prayers because I need it. I have made a little payment. That's that's the key though. Make the minimum payment until you can make more. That's the key. That was the key to me getting into my 720. I paid off two credit cards, but then I ended up using them again, obviously. So I had to invest in certain things and like I said, lustful ways and just so mismanagement of money in the last couple of weeks oh no a couple of months so keep me in your prayers yeah if you would like more videos on my spending habits um you know the things that i buy the types of credit cards i suggest all people should take out if they're going to open up credit card lines if you would like more information on that definitely comment below let me know um what you're struggling with um yeah i'm not a, a credit repair person i just know this stuff through experience so i remember i was at a what that was that like it was 600 a 600 something i don't know i might have been in a five i don't know because again somebody had access to my information and just was just was wild like like oh because you because you were cool and ace. <laughs> oh, and i was able to get myself out of that to a 720. um if you want to know any of my habits, spending habits, credit card habits, whatever, comment below. Let me know. Tava, over. And I, I need a, I need a log off signature move or sound. Not yet. If you got one else for me, let me know. Okay.